alaikum and welcome to Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Hahn. I've been growing chilies in my greenhouse this year and now they're ripe, they're red and they're perfect for my evil chilli relish. <laughs> to make my red chilli relish I've got an assortment of chilli peppers here. I've got a couple of red capsicums in here, I've got some nice big red chilies, I've got some Thai red chilies, I've got some smaller red chilies, I've even got these tomato looking type red chilies, all sorts. You can mix and match as you like. Here there's a tablespoon each of yellow mustard seeds, cumin seeds and fenugreek seeds. There's five cloves of garlic thinly sliced, a two inch piece of ginger which I've grated and there's a tablespoon each of salt and sugar. One of the first jobs of course is going to be to chop the chilies, and you've got a choice to make. Are you going to leave the seeds in or not? That's up to you. Personally I leave them in. And the other thing I would say is don't chop the chilies too finely because you want a little bit of texture in the final relish. Oops. Oh, my nose is itching. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's better. Oh, ah, no, no, bad, 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 bad. <sighs> Yogurt can be so soothing sometimes. Now that the rocket fuel is ready, we can move across to the launch pad. I'm heating a pan on a medium heat. There's no oil in this. I'm just going to add in the seeds and toast them for a couple of minutes. When the mustard seeds start to jump around, it's time to take it off the heat. In this pan, I've got 250 mils or one cup of vegetable oil. You can use sunflower oil or rapeseed oil, or whatever oil you want. It's over a medium heat. I'm going to add in the garlic and the ginger and cook it gently for about two minutes. After two minutes add in the peppers and cook this gently for about five minutes just to soften the chilies. Once the chilies have softened add in the toasted seeds, the salt and sugar and 400 ml of white vinegar. Bring to the boil. When it comes to the boil turn the heat down and let it simmer very gently for about two hours. After one and a half to two hours it should have reduced down and taken on this shiny appearance which means the oil separating out and it should be really quite thick. This is ready for putting into jars. <laughs> now we need to spoon this bad medicine into some clean and sterile jars. Wipe carefully around the thread then pop on a clean and sterile top. Warning! Warning! Evil red chilli relish alert! Return to the ship immediately! Well I guess there's only one thing left to do. Taste it. <gasps> Booyah! Oh, wow! Hot stuff! And join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me Tickle any harm. Until next time, who the hafiz?